Hi, it's Grace, and today we're going to turn this into something a little bit more acceptable. Hopefully. Uh, it has probably been about 10 years, like 8 to 10 years, but I think it's about 8, since I saw a professional hairdresser last, and that was just to put some colour in my hair. So, um, I don't think any professional person has cut it for longer than that. And um, I've cut my hair a lot of times, but it hasn't been now for probably 6 years. Um, I did something dumb with my scissors. I can't even remember what I did, but they ended up getting wrecked and I threw them out and I just never got more. So today's the day. I ordered new scissors off eBay and it really needs a trim. Oh, and I saw online that um, if you straighten your hair and like curve it over your finger, you can cut like the little split ends off the shorter bits. So I'm going to try that too. Um, even it up one side's longer than the other. I'll show you when I straighten it. Um, and the little bits around my face because I wear my hair up like this a lot and everyone would be like well you should cut it off then heck no I know this is not good for my hair I bleach it and wear it in a bun but when I want it to be out and pretty and I put curls in it like it's a good length and I don't have to worry about other hair pieces like because my hair's short and it's just awesome so I'm gonna keep the length but hopefully it'll be like a bit more manageable and won't look like this fingers crossed all right, I'll start with straightening it and um, I'm going to fast forward that for you. Um, I want you to see the satisfaction from the before to the after, but it's really boring to sit through. So I'll see you in a minute for the snipping. All right, I tried to section it out. I don't know how good that is. Kind of okay. You can't see on the black, that's really helpful. So these are different lengths anyway, because my hair breaks off at different lengths. So I'm just gonna try and even that up first. Oh, I need to open the scissors, that would be helpful. Okay. Does it need to be, which way is that? Is that open or closed, people? Okay, no, that's open. How closed is that? I think I can still see a gap. I think. Does it need to be closer? That's as close as it can go. Okay, see if these things work. All right, guys. We will just even you up a tiny bit. Okay, well, that worked. Good times. Uh, do I want a tiny bit more of? Maybe. Maybe just the tiniest bit. Oops, I can probably just do them individually now. Uh, I have an old hairdressing cape I put on the floor and it'll just everything will go in the wash after I shake it out. So, shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. All right, actually, I should use that as a guide for this one, possibly. How much did I take off? Something like that. Okay, and I don't know, should I just cut into the ends? Like, is that even gonna be enough? It looks a lot better to me, but anything would look a lot better after that. I don't know. Maybe just the tiniest bit more. Okay. Okay. And something like you. mirror in front of me hopefully that's even it is not okay we will try again how about that oh no is my head even straight can I tell okay the tiniest bit more Alright, let's 
sitting a bit differently but like if it was like that that looks pretty even and now these bits I really don't want too much of these bits and I can kind of see like when I pull it apart the angle it already is sort of so I guess I can just do that to the very ends Okay, that's not very interesting, but these bits are just like weird. And that's like fully from there, so I don't know if I should just take it like a little bit further back, but that's okay. I'll take it out in a sec and we'll find out. Oop. Try that again. Okay, how are you guys doing? That one does look tiny bit longer. Let me see if I can fix that. Alrighty. I know it's not a lot off. But it has been a really long time. Uh, maybe I should cut into this before I take it out. I don't know if that's a better or worse idea. Guess we'll find out. Oops, that might have been too far up. Now it just looks weird and chunky. And the other side. It's a little bit thin, I guess. And I just don't know about these bits. Maybe I should wait till I take them down. That's probably a smart idea. Okay. Awesome hairbrush stuck to another hairbrush. I know I didn't do much but that just feels so much nicer on the ends. Even straightened my hair always gets really snaggy at the ends. So that's awesome. What does it look like in the camera? Is it a good thing or a bad thing? Still not sure. It could be evened up a little. Where are those scissors? Alright, that looks pretty even to me. I should section out the front and just compare them. Yeah, I think. And then maybe a little bit more. Probably okay. And the back one. I don't know, I think it's fine. All right, now for what I believe is called search and destroy. I'll take chunks of my hair like that. I'll run my finger like that along one side and try and get all the bits that stick out. And I'll try and do it like the other way as well. See if I can organize myself to do that. It seems a bit more difficult. And I guess I'll come back when I'm done and I might put a little bit of oil in it and maybe a little bit of dry shampoo. It's hot in here and straightening my hair made me sweat a little. So I guess I'll show you the fast forward footage of me searching and destroying split ends and I'll be back to tell you what I think. Uh, fingers crossed I don't cut too much more off. I think I'm about right. Maybe I could do these front bits. I uh, know. I'll take the dead ends off and then I'll see what I think. Not gonna lie, that was pretty rough. It's been a couple of hours but I think it looks good. So this is what it looked like when I'd finished um, and like it's a bit gross. So I thought that maybe I could flatten out like the little ends I just cut and stuff and that has had a straightener on it and it looks amazing. I'm going to save my final judgment for in a moment after I've straightened this side a little um, and I will tell you all about it in a minute. I forgot to show you how much hair I took off. So there's lots of itty bitty hairs everywhere and like most of that is for the hairbrush that I was using, just brushing it throughout. So in total, like, I only sort of chopped off that much. And there's maybe, like, a little ball like that of teeny tiny hair. So, not heaps, but I better go clean this up. So all up, that really did take me a long time to do. Straightening my hair and then, like, cutting the ends and kind of, like, I laid a little bit around the front. Just the tiniest bit. And, um, yeah, then going through and taking all those split ends off. Look, it's taken probably four hours and 
I would not go to a hairdresser and expect them to do this but I'm glad I did it myself. A lot of hairdressers just would have taken off sort of this much and that was about it. But this is a lot better. Like I didn't want a lot of length off so I'm glad with how much I took off and that my hair feels this nice. Like and that I'm not snagging on everything. That's lovely. Like even before just straightened I'd keep snagging my fingers. Like and it's a little bit snaggy but nothing like before. So that's great. And I can't stop touching it. It's beautiful. To be honest, I'm a little itchy and I really want to shower and I'm super tempted to wash my hair because I know my scalp's going to be itchy later if I don't. So I'm going to wreck it, but then maybe I can curl it and I can put a picture in like so you can see how the curls are and I'm hoping that because the ends aren't all like really crispy anymore, my curls are going to sit better and that'll be a bonus and my hair's just lovely and soft and I highly recommend that if you've got quite a few hours to spare and maybe some trust issues with hairdressers, <laughs> they give this a go. You can just be super patient and hopefully you like the result. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.